New at six tonight, three Long Island teenagers implicated in a hacking scandal. They're accused of breaking into their school's database, partly to improve their grades, allegedly, partly as a prank. CBS 2's Emily Smith with the story tonight from COMAC. 17-year-old Daniel Soares stood tall as he walked out of court, released on his own recognizance. He's considered the ringleader in a criminal school computer hacking case at Comac High School. We're waiting for a full investigation to be done, and he maintains his innocence. Also charged in the incident, Alex Mosquera and Eric Baseman. All juniors in high school charged as adults. Police say Soares broke into his high school after hours and equipped a computer with hardware that allowed him to get passwords and login credentials, leading to grades, schedules, and other student information. They say once Soares retrieved the hardware, he could change grades from home. At this point, we believe Daniel changed at least four of his own grades. His own grade was changed, I believe, from a 94 to a 100, a perfect score of 100. It was district leaders who noticed changes. Changes being made without authorization. Detective Sergeant Best wouldn't elaborate, but says detectives were called in and found remnants of SOARS, which led to a search warrant at his home and ultimately three arrests. SOARS charges include burglary, computer tampering, identity theft, computer trespassing, and eavesdropping. Baseman's charged with computer tampering. He felt he should have had a high grade in a particular class, and he uh, requested Daniel make the change. And Mascara's charges include computer trespass. And police believe the students all succeeded in obtaining what they desired until caught, leaving students and parents at Comac High School in awe. Everybody wants better grades, but it's not the way to do it, in my opinion. These kids, it's all they do. They're on the computer. They know how to access things. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, I'm surprised. I'm really, I'm shocked. School district leaders aren't commenting on the case or the students, other than to say they're doing everything they can to assure this doesn't happen again. In Comac, Emily Smith, CBS 2 News.